Hey guys, what's up? So, apparently we haven't done a dumbest tattoos ever in a while. So we did the dumbest people ever on the internet. Now we're going to do the dumbest tattoos ever on the internet. So anyways, let's get on to it. Alright. Anyways, before I begin, there's going to be some explicit stuff on here. So if you guys don't want to watch it, click out of the video. It is my life, John Bovey. Wow. It is my life. So many spelling mistakes in these tattoos, guys. I don't even know why this person would decide to put it is when technically just take out the is and you get it's my life. And besides, John Bovey would never write something like that. Too cool for school. Nice. Too cool for school. Boy, I think you need to get yourself an education, because apparently you can't spell school correctly. And besides, that bus doesn't even look like a school bus. This is what you get when you drop out of third grade to do tattoos. What? No. Oh my goodness, why? Why would he get some... Betty Boop version of the Eminem girl. Like, why? You know, my lips are getting chapped. Nice. I got this vanilla bean lip balm and it tastes really good. I'm not gonna eat it because I have to save it because it, you know, despite the fact that it's a dollar, I'd rather not waste it. But why would a person give this as a tattoo? Like, once you go black, you can never go back. And this is the racist thing that you got. Why? Wait, is that even Africa? Wait, let me check this. Let me school this for a moment. Okay, let's look at the, Af let's see what Africa looks like now. Okay, so I probably got the Africa, right? But why would you put, once you go black, you can never go back? Just because it rhymes doesn't mean it's, like, good. Anyway, there's more places where these people can be come, come from. There's a lot of them that come from America. I think this person needs to go back to Australia or, you know, back to 1300 BC before these tattoos were invented. Whoever let this person graduate from fourth grade should be fired, okay? Only Judy can judge me. Did you really, really just get the Judge Judy person right there? Why did you get the Judge Judy tattoo and put only Judy can judge you? Oh, wait, I know somebody else named Judy. It's my teacher, Mrs. Trowbridge. <laughs> Which Judy are you talking about? Because that kind of looks like my fourth grade teacher, Miss Trowbridge. Completely unrelated to one of my friends who also has the last name Joe Bitch. But, why would you get this tattoo? That's like, really terrible. Why? This is literally the stupidest one I've ever seen. This guy literally has a word search on the side of him. And why would he circle his message? Any boy can be a father. It takes a real man to be a dad. Holy crap, dude. This is the stupidest one. Look at all that ink you wasted on him. I know it's like creative and all, but it's just dumb. What are all the extra letters? Why do I see more extra words on him? Like, I see James here. Why did he put the word James on there? Bye. There's like CIA. Technically, abbreviations don't count, but alright. There's so many extra words on here. Why did he have to put all these extra letters on here? That is so unnecessary, and it's the stupidest one. Literally, the stupidest one I've ever, ever seen. Why? Why did you get the McDonald's? 
Why'd you get a McDonald's receipt and tattooed on yourself? There is literally no need for that. Why? First of all, why would you need this? This is so wasteful with your money. Well, unless you get the YouTube money to spend on laser, you won't be able to give this off. Whoa! I had to censor this because, you know, I couldn't show it because of how explicit this is. So apparently, she got this weird tattoo where it says, Spake Me Daddy, okay? And then has this explicit picture of pit bulls doing that on each side. Like, who would want to see that? I I had to censor it because it was so explicit. Like, are these her dogs? Does she have pit bulls? Do they like doing this kinds of stuff? I don't think so. This is so gross, like, explicit. Ah, what kind of nasty skin disease is this? What, is it a constellation of stars? What? Constellation of stars? I had to put the constellation of stars, like, right here. That looks nothing like a constellation of stars. Because, first of all, stars aren't black. And second of all, why does she look like she hit... She just got some kind of allergic reaction. That's what it looks like to me. My threeth nipple. Threeth. Threeth nipple. Is it French? Is that how they say nipple in French? Nipple. Nah. Yeah, if I had one too, I would actually label it. I wonder where it is, guys, because, you know, it's probably like somewhere in the center of the chest. Rarely anybody would have a genetics for a three nipple. There is no also guys, there is no third in this country. It's three. One, two, three, fourth. That's better. <laughs> so this person got these two tattoos and there's a hamburger high fiving a hot dog saying, No pickles, no ketchup. Just show this to them your McDonald's so the McDonald's worker, and tell me you don't want no pickles and no ketchup. Wait, wait, what? I like pickles on my burger, guys, and I love ketchup on my hot dogs. Sometimes with mustard. Like, I would not get this tattoo. Like, that'd be saying no tomatoes on there. Besides, I prefer both ketchup and pickles on my burger, nothing else. I don't like lettuce. I don't like onions anymore. I don't like tomatoes except in ketchup form. Otherwise, I wouldn't eat tomatoes. I know there's a lot of people that say that they don't like, like, there's somebody that doesn't like, you know, um, avocados, and then they like guacamole. It's just kind of different for somebody. Guys, give me a Marilyn Monroe tattoo. And yes, I can't tell the difference on which one of these, except one is real and one's not. But anyways, that's all we take you guys this video. If you guys want more of these, be sure to like button in the face. And don't forget to subscribe to my wolf pack. Oh, and I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.